everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Coldfire. And I'm Kit. And we are continuing um, the with the Madonna Blonde Ambition World Tour from Yokohama um, in Japan. And this is from 1990. And we reacted to so far Express Yourself, Open Your Heart, and wow. Causing a Commotion. So we are going to finish up. Or we're going to do uh, gonna the next on. three, try three songs off of this at a time. Okay. Without further ado, um, what do you think of the concert so far? Well, I mean, this was revolutionary. This is, well, I've not seen other artists during the time frame doing it, but as far as her, as far as Madonna goes, she's definitely has stepped up her concert going, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, will. Um, it does set a precedence for other artists when they do concerts in the future. Because this is more of a... It's a concert, don't get me wrong, but it's also like... A, a theater, theatrical theater. performance. Yeah. So... Yeah, well, I remember when it came out, they said that this was the first time that... Not the first time that stadiums filled up mm -hmm. to see rock concerts. But it was the first time that... This was a concert done in with theatricals mm -hmm. that told a story, and she's she was the first one to do it, right. and it set precedence. And now we see people like, you know, Taylor Swift. Yep. I mean, going to it, and I think that you know, along with this concert, you know, I don't know if we've said in the previous comments. Yes, it, it was. Um, they didn't want her to perform, you know these lewd obscene behaviors but she defied all the rules that a woman shouldn't be doing which helped a lot of women in the music industry so without further ado we're going to continue this historical second worldwide tour but her third tour and you too How to work those feet.
She must be doing a outfit change. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's how she usually does it. Yeah. She lets them finish up, give the dancers a oh, little yeah. bit of praise while she goes in. Though, I love the energy. I like her footwork. Mm-hmm. You know how Michael Jackson created the moonwalk and all these moves? Mm-hmm. She didn't want to copy him, but she had those. I, it was almost like the running man mm-hmm. yet. I don't know how she does her feet like that. It was almost like tap dancing. the fact that historically when we were talking about this was this was her third tour but only her second worldwide tour because the Virgin Tour was only done in the United States I remember because they didn't think that she was big enough to go global yet but this one right here is when she was solidified as the queen of pop music she was selling out stadiums and I think it's not the selling out the stadiums, because most artists could do that. I like the fact that this was a period in time where this is the only concert at this magnitude where she openly represented the LGBT community. She openly acknowledged mm-hmm. that these were mostly gay dancers, all except for Oliver, the blonde guy, um, he says that he, he was straight, which he, I mean, you know, if he says he is, he, he is. If he doesn't, I mean, he isn't. But um, I noticed the one that was on the right, um, he looked kind of Asian. Mm-hmm. Um, her whole point on this um, Blonde Ambition tour was um, to raise money for AIDS. Okay. And not long after... The concert was finished and she done Truth to Dare. He died from AIDS. And she was trying to create a safe space for her dancers because she knew that they were going to be targeted on tour for being gay. Mm-hmm. And she was hoping that with all this exposure and everything and her being so, you know, the queen of the, the, the gay movement and every other movement, it was, she said it hurt her really bad that he couldn't come up and tell her, you know, that he was positive. Just like today, it has to be on their terms. Yeah. But, I mean, look what he's out there doing no, while he had, <clears throat> you know, only months. But in, in, in regards to the concert itself, yeah. um, love the energy mm-hmm. and the, the moves and... Yeah, her footwork. I mean, you could just you could just feel the energy. You see, the crowd is so pumped up. It's 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 good to see that. So especially because they're in Japan, is you know they love her over there. But I mean, I, like they say, music is universal. Where you can understand yeah, it or not, absolutely. they learn the lyrics mm-hmm. and they know what the song is about, and they knew who Madonna was oh. by now. Because so, I guess no, I, I, I yeah. really enjoyed that, so we're going to we're going pause, pause and that. We'll be back on the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give us a comment, a like, a subscribe, or anything that you want to do. And y'all know what to do. Where's the party? We'll find out when we go to her next performance on this Blind Ambition tour from 1990. Have a great day. We love you. Bye bye.